Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for um, Cancer. I was torn as to who to do next, and uh, I was sitting here, I was going back and forth, back and forth. It was supposed to be Aries, and I was like, I don't know, Cancer. And I kept, I kept going back to Cancer. Cancer's up next, so I choose you next after Taurus. Of course, I'm Taurus, so I always do Taurus first, so I was like, Let's do Cancer. What do we have for Cancer for the week of February 8th through the 14th? What do we have for Cancer? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Keep in mind that the timing is fluid. And not every reading is for you. And I'm sorry if you can hear the cars outside. I'm going to get uh, sound blankets, but I haven't got them yet. So what do we have? For cancer. We'll start right there. Shield. You need to defend yourself. You need to you need to defend yourself. You need to protect yourself. Do not let people run all over you. Protect yourself. Bow. You are highly thought of. So you are highly thought of. You're going to need to defend yourself in some way by the looks of things. Oh, let's get one of these. What do we have for cancer? What do, whoops, we don't want that. What do we have for cancer? They're stuck. They're in the bottom of my drawer. I guess we'll take that one, huh? Oh. 16. Now, this is, uh, this is the tower, okay? This is the tower. Change your life. Archangel Chamuel. A sudden revelation that offers freedom. Break free of procrastination. Embrace the opportunities that change brings. This is the tower. So this is a huge moment for you of profound change. You're going to get a sudden revelation that offers freedom. You've been procrastinating. You've probably been... Uh, bound to something that is built on false pretenses, you know, and now it's time to break free from that falseness and build a strong foundation, build something strong someplace else. It's time. Embrace the opportunities that change brings. So this is a huge week of change for you. There's going to be a revelation of some sort. <laughs> that brings change to your life. And it's positive change. You know, when the tower comes, it wapes out a foundation. <laughs> Gone. It is time to rebuild and start over from scratch. Perhaps in new territory. What do we have for cancer? King of Wands. This is about action. Take action right now. This is a new vision. This is strength, courage, confidence, willpower. This is taking the lead. Taking control. Putting fear behind you and finding the courage to take, make the change or face the change, whatever it is. You have to, it's funny that that card wanted to come down. I put it over here. You need to do what's right for you. You are highly thought of by somebody.
Be strong. Page of Wands. Now this is good news. This is a message. This is positive energy. Something may be coming to fruition that you planted. You know, the seeds got planted a long time ago. You know? And now there's been some sort of, you know, something's coming back around or something is, there's an opportunity for growth. It's also, also, <laughs> also an opportunity um, to go in a new direction. So I feel like you, you, you're going to be given an opportunity. And this is, this is exciting. It is. Wands are excitement, passion. It's a fresh start. And I think that, I think that, you know, you need to let go of your fear. Anyhow, you're going to be, I think either you've been, maybe you've been, uh, I don't know, maybe there's been some flirting going on or I don't know. Uh, what is this page of wands? That's good news. That's messages. That's uh, uh, focusing. A new opportunity that could that could really really go. It's exciting. It is exciting. You could be you could be dealing with somebody that's a little bit younger than you. There could be a little bit of an age difference, not that much. I, I really don't think it's that much. Anyway, you're going to be there's some sort of. Uh, I feel like there's going to be a conversation. There could be a conversation that is had this week. It maybe has something to do with father and child as well. Just saying, could even be mother. Could be mother and child. Either or it could just be two people that have a little bit of an age difference. Anyhow, you're gonna be getting you're gonna be getting some good news, or you already received it. Or there's I feel like there's some sort of attraction as well, which is interesting. Hangman reverse. So hangman reverse, that is enlightenment. Uh, somebody's been having a hard time. But now they're starting to see the light. I think you're going to, somebody, or you, this is becoming enlightened. It's been sacrificing, been wasting time. You know, it's time to, it's already been enlightened. It's time to, you know, stop hanging on to something. But anyhow, um, somebody is, is hanging on to something and they need to find their courage and their strength to, you know, there's nothing to prove. You don't got nothing to prove. There isn't anything to prove. Just let go. Hermit reverse. Now, this is a midlife crisis of some sort. Midlife crisis. Uh, coming out of the darkness. Need to go within. Need to listen to yourself. Well, you need to listen to yourself. Come on now. Don't be listening to other people. Listen to yourself. Enlightenment. It's like becoming enlightened. I feel like you've become enlightened in some way. There could be an epiphany moment. I mean, both of these cards reverse. This is like, in, in the upright, this is isolation. But this is like, and, 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 and in the upright, it's isolation and going within to think about things. You know, both of them. So it's like, I think you've come to some sort of resolution almost. It's a different perspective. You may be seeing things differently after a time of isolation or a time out. You know, maybe you're starting to see things differently. That's a new perspective being gained. And it, it is time to take action. So in some way, it's a new vision. You get, you're going to get a new vision. The light is definitely going to be shed with the tower. A sudden revelation that offers freedom. Oh, ding, 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 ding. So yeah, you're definitely going to get a sudden re revelation that leads you down a new path, down a new direction. You're going to be going in a new direction. And I think that you have been tied to something for a long time. And I feel like you've been wasting your life. You've been wasting your time. There's been a lot of loneliness there. And there's been control issues. The hangman reverse is extreme pride, extreme control issues. You know, trying to prove something that, fuck it. What is there to prove? Where's the happiness here? I don't even see it. There it is. 
That is happiness. That's extreme happiness. Once you come out of this place that you've been in. You need to look at things from the positive perspective. You need to look at th you need to focus on the future. There's an opportunity for peace and emotional fulfillment, happiness. There is. It's exciting. It's a brand new opportunity for happiness, but it will require you to stop hanging on to something you've been hanging on to that has been causing you a lot of loneliness. You know, you may have felt like you were all alone. You didn't have anybody. If you choose to go down that path and to stay in that dark place, well, that's your choice. Anyhow, I feel like this week you're going to get that revelation. You're going to get that tower moment. And I feel like it's a revelation. I don't feel like it's an incident. It's a revelation. It could be an incident. Is there an it? Because this could be punishment. The hanging in reverse could be punishment. So somebody could be getting some punishment from a higher up. Okay, there could be some punishment that's coming from a boss or, you know, and that will bring you enlightenment real fucking quick. It doesn't have to be a boss. It could be anybody. It could be your own gut. It could be your own intuition. It doesn't have to be a person, but it could be somebody that is getting some sort of uh, enlightenment. <laughs> okay? It could be your own self. Um, anyway, um, somebody's about to be enlightened in a very huge way. And it's good. And then there's happiness. There, after the enlightenment, there's happiness. There's an opportunity for, you know, for emotional fulfillment. Oh, there's grieving over loss, crying over the spilled milk. Somebody is grieving over a loss, crying over the spilled milk. There's an opportunity for love. There is an opportunity, but it's being missed. It's being ignored. There's an opportunity for happiness here that is being ignored because somebody is trying to prove something. Maybe it's to society, right? Could be. Maybe it could be to the children. You're trying to prove something that really doesn't need to be proved because happiness is what matters. If somebody is grieving. They're, they're, they're maybe, what if I did this? What if I did that? There's an opportunity for love here that is being ignored or missed. And there's one right in front of you, again, right here, that is, that is being missed. There's an opportunity for emotional fulfillment here, and that is what matters. But it will require somebody to have faith and not have any fear. It will require focus and follow through. But anyhow, I do believe there is, there is some sort of uh, enlightenment that is coming. About a relationship. And there's an opportunity for love. Okay, there is. If somebody could stop focusing on the pain of the past and turn around and go in that other direction. Down that new path. Anyhow. This week is a major revelation. One more card. You know, it could be, we, we, we could have like a reconnection here. There's, a, there's an opportunity to connect with somebody. I think that you, there's somebody here that, I feel like there's somebody here that you know. That you could reconnect with or connect with. But there's some sort of needing to let go of something stop wasting your time stop sacrificing yourself anyway there it is full reversed so this is no faith fear of rejection son of a bitch sorry the echo will go away when I put up my stuff on the walls I bought sound stuff anyhow um, the fool reversed that is making a poor judgment call there could be punishment for making a poor judgment call just saying somebody could be getting punished or somebody was trying to punish somebody you know I'm going to punish you that kind of thing ha huh. that's never a good idea anyhow um, the fool reversed Unfinished business. There could be some unfinished business.
no fear, needing to take a risk. Somebody here needs to take a risk or something like that, or they need to be very damn careful. It could be either way with the fool reversed. Um, the hermit reversed. Not very awakened, but, or it needs to be awakened, and somebody's about to be awakened. <laughs> they are. They're about to get a revelation. It's going to wake them up. They push them off the edge. They push them right out the freaking door. Just saying. One more card. What is it? What is this for reversed? Four of Pentacles reversed. Letting something go. Impulsively. Extremely impulsively. Time to relax. Time to let go. So I feel I feel like this week there there's there's um, obviously going to be a revelation that offers freedom. <laughs> That's what the reading says. After all, there's going to be a revelation that offers freedom. Break free of the procrastination. That's your hangman card. Embrace the opportunities that change change brings. Let go of your fear. There is an opportunity here that could make you extremely happy. Stop fighting it. Good luck.